Hello and welcome to the quick run of the first T20I of the Dutch Bangla Bank series between Bangladesh and Zimbabwe. We are here in Chotogram, the Zohra Michodri Stadium, where Bangladesh have managed to win the first T20I by eight wickets. I've got HD Ackerman alongside. HD, overall, it's been a good performance, something that Bangladesh would be happy of to kickstart the series. Yeah, look, I think it's the perfect performance for for Bangladesh to start to start a series. Look, I, I do think that they'll probably want to be tested a little bit more as the series progresses. If they are talking about preparation for that World Cup, that's just a few weeks away now. But the most important for, thing for them would be to win this series. So to get off to a, to a quick start like this, ideal. Yeah, they've, they've pretty much checked all the boxes, starting from winning the toss, deciding to field first, and up front. The bowlers that did their job. Speak of Tusky and Shori Full and even Madi, the spinner. Yeah, look, I, I think the bowlers set up the victory. I know that a lot there'll be a lot of focus on the debutant who, who's Tanzid who played beautifully, but Tuskin certainly looks in good in good form. He looks in wonderful condition. He looks very athletic. He bowled with good pace, good control, three for 14, exceptional performance. Saifuddin coming back into the fold after a lengthy injury as an all-rounder, he was really good. I don't think Shoreful was was at his best, but we know that he doesn't stay far from his best, best for too long. Maheri Hassan also excellent with the ball. I just don't know where they're going to fit the fizz in here when he comes back <laughs> because the bowling attack looked prime. Yeah, and in terms of uh, going to the chase, you know, chasing 125, uh, Tanzir what a debut for him. Yeah, never never an easy chase, 120. You, you're, not, you're not sure whether to stick or twist. You're not sure whether to go hard up front or whether to just knock it around in pursuit of such a low total. But I thought Tanzid played beautif beautifully, especially when you lose an early wicket to Litton Das, who's such a quality player. He sort of absorbed that early pressure where there might have been a hiccup or two, and then we saw the acceleration, and then we saw what this young left-hander can do. He gave us glimpses in the BPL, he got a wonderful 100 in the BPL, and maybe, just maybe, Bangladesh have stumbled upon something here for the World Cup at the top of the order, because they've certainly got some exciting players in the middle. We saw Tawad Ridoy come and contribute a little quick fire 30. I think he's a lovely player. I think he's my favorite quietly. We're not going to mention it too, too too loudly but he really he has embraced this new way of t20 cricket and i think tanzid's another one mm -hmm. and you mentioned you know where the fizz is going to fit in tanzid scoring runs it's a good headache to have he always hear about a good headache i mean no coach wants a headache but the thing is is the quality of players that are coming back you think of shakib you think of fizz Shumusaka might have a problem on his hands when you see Tanzid play play like this, but but certainly the other two will get into the starting eleven, no problem whatsoever. But nice that there's a little bit of backup because always going into a World Cup, there's an injury here, an injury there, and to know that you've got that depth is so important. Bangladesh is starting to develop that. Yeah, and to say the least, the gist of it, you know, Bangladesh would only look forward to grow from this win as the tournament progresses with the World Cup knocking on the door. The next T20I is day after tomorrow on 5th of May here at the Zohra Chaudhary Stadium in Chattogram. Same time, we'll be here and uh, it promises to be another cracker of a match. So hopefully you're not going to miss out and, uh, you know, uh, Zimbabwe's got plenty to fight back on also. They'll be a much better unit uh, when, they, when they turn up here on, on Sunday, I think it is. Um, they, they've got some wonderful players who performed on the biggest stage. That will probably be their worst performance. Yeah, yeah. so we look forward to the second T20 International of the Dutch Bangla Bank series, which is day after tomorrow. See you then.